In this tutorial, we want to look at how to use Unicode symbols or characters and then how to use mathematical symbols, Greek letters and uh, glyphs in Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape 1.0. So let's say you want to write something like a, a Greek letter. You can do it in two ways. You can either go to test and then you go to unicorn characters and you press then this dialog box comes which i will go into details with later how to select and everything or you can just go to pick your test tool imagine to pick your test tool and draw something like this and then you can now uh, uh, go to control and you on your keyboard and it's if you look down there you see that it says unicode enter enter to finish so then you enter the uh, code of the or the the hexadecimal code of whatever you want to do if you know it if you don't know it then you have to check it from um, Google or you it's um, Inkscape has so many symbols I'm very sure your symbol will be in but this is in case your symbol is not there or you prefer writing things manually then you will enter for example I want to uh, do the uh, Greek letter beta so I'll go to it's zero three the hexadecimal code is zero three b2 you see it already shows me down there that it's beta and then i enter then i have my beta or if you want to use um the, uh, the dialog box from here as i said then you can come here and then if you, the scripts you can choose it whichever scripts you want um through here you can also leave it and go to uh, choose all and still you will find it here so with this we wanted to use greek and coptic so if we press it we can find a pizza what will how will you do it you you do it in the same way in case you don't already have the box there then you if, um or you can augment it but if case you are starting from here you can you just do this again and then you come and choose beta here you sorry i have something in there then you double click it and then afterwards don't forget you need to press append then you have it so it's the same way you can also there are many things you can do in it if you want to for example if you are using the latin um, alphabet and you need um till this you need ascents or whatever you can you just go to they have the basic latin if it is not there that you look through the latin uh, supplements uh, latin one supplement for example let's say you want to add uh, e with the accent on so you double click it as usual and then you append it now you see that it's appended b e again because i had it there if you only want the b the e uh, with the accent then you have to remove it in case what you do you can do it one by one if you want one but in case you type everything and it's it's, it's a rule or something no, let's see what happens here you see this this is recognized as oh sorry this con considers this more or less like like a group so for you if in case you want to separate it i would suggest you do it one by one by just going here and doing whatever you want and then you do another one like this or you can also um come here and then i think if you go to uh, object to path and then you now go to objects on group then you ungroup it and you have each one um 
single that's in case you need them um, individually and uh, now you can also do for example i have alpha omega these are all um characters that you can you greek characters let's to go to the greek um here so you can have you can always choose um where is this is omega for example you can do it like i said and then you can get alpha i did it with alpha omega and maybe if you're wondering how i did this i just put um the omega like let's do a duplicate of the omega here i have already so i do a duplicate and then i do another duplicate of this and i just put it on you know and i just colored this um the the omega with, with a different oops it was the alpha i selected okay we do it in the opposite direction now and then uh, i just afterwards uh, selected both and then i went to object group in case you want it in your group now i'm going to show you how to also use math mathematical symbols because for example i try i drew this um these faces with um with just this i just went to let's see here let me clear here a bit so i will select everything of this and then right click and do delete now um for example i went to the mathematical operations here let's see where is it it's a bit, yes my, my mathematical operators and then one thing i forgot to tell you is that the font i'm using is sans serif you can use any other font you like but sometimes some of the fonts don't have some of the symbols but i've real I, I normally use sans serif and it has majority of the symbols and also if you're a mathematician you can use times um that uh, the uh, times new roman the times new roman also which is uh, somewhere where is it yes this look so also it gives it very clean if you're a mathematician in case you want to see it very clean like this like later something you can use the uh, the times new roman but i if you want more i normally use you can just look through but i normally use a sans serif and it works very well for me because i find majority of the symbols i'm looking for so you can go through it works like a normal test now let's see here um i'm going to draw this what i did was that i went for um first of all i have to um go for my test tool and do something like this i, I use this and this so if we i double click this and then i append and then with this i i this i i drew i could have had these symbols also in geometric shapes but i i chose to for this figure here i just want to show you if you want to do exactly then afterwards i went for my um circle and ellipse tool and then i went to shift control to just draw a circle like this i did not i went then you can go to object fill and stroke and then you can come here and remove the stroke and then i did a duplicate of it go to shift control and then i okay first i have to do i do a duplicate right click your mouse do a duplicate and then i the other one is bigger yeah so we make it a bit bigger we give it let's give it a stroke so we go to we are at stroke now we give it a stroke and then the stroke i would reduce the 
the, the width maybe I choose something like the 0 0.5 0 point, 0 0.5 is okay Oops. and then now um, the, the one in the fill yes I have to remove the fill for the one on top so, so that I have something like this and then we change the color of the of the stroke and the fill let's see I used just black so the the stroke here I go to shift and then give it a black and the, this one I just go and give it a black I think I should make it um let's make it a bit bigger like what I did there and then go to shift control oops I distorted my so go to shift control and then make it a bit bigger like there's something like this is okay and then this nose I think I used a geometric shape yes so I we go back to the Unicode, Unicode characters we press it here and then I'm going to use the geometric um, shape this one here okay I use that and then I first of all as usual I don't have to forget to draw something here or else it won't come and why isn't when I drew it, it did not come because you have to think of the size of your font if your font is big the box you draw should be a bit bigger so it can contain it or else it would you would pre uh, think oh it's not drawing and so that's how why it's happened like that the geometric I used this yes so I clear this one out and then I select this double click it's okay and then you do a paint so now I come here and with my selection tool I bring it somewhere here now I don't need to do any other thing because these are these are just duplicates of this so I just select maybe this I can even select both why not oh no but I'll do it separately because of uh, maybe I want to adjust certain things so I select this I do a duplicate you can also do a duplicate by going to edit and duplicate and then the duplicates I think I have to flip it horizontally because uh, uh, we will, so let's flip flip it horizontally and we have it like this and then this we select both and then I do a duplicate as well and I bring it somewhere here and then we can arrange to to arrange it you can either uh, come with a guide so that it's easier so um they are on the same level more like i i will put um the this one a bit somewhere here not uh, directly uh, in the center but somewhere here just uh, the, the guide is to just place them at the same level you understand so it's a bit symmetric uh what am i doing if i put it there that's not what I wanted to do um, the, this 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 is too big that's what is bothering let's make this a bit small yeah to make it reasonable to so make it a bit small I guess with respect to the eye you understand that it, it cannot be too big with respect to that I mean I should have reduced it before I um, moved it but anyway we can just this is just an approximation if you are if it's for a work or something like that for a client or so then you you have to be careful and think of symmetry and all that okay so basically this is more or less what you can draw uh, how you can draw this I can also move this a bit maybe I move it a bit up 
something like this looks aesthetically better I think what do you think and the and the and and the eyes also should be on the same level you you, you get what I mean we, you can also group the eye already so you don't have to always select both something like this is what gives this and then this one i also used other things like the geometric shape the miscellaneous symbols let's we can do that quickly and then we finish for this i i, I think i used um miscellaneous symbols so you can go again and don't forget we come here and then you draw this or else and then we choose the symbol that i used this is the symbol i used so you can just double click it there's i i have the other symbol in i just remove it and then i do a pen and for the eye i used as well miscellaneous symbol so let's go for our test tool again and then maybe i do both i selected this so let's see here go look through and select this double click it and double click this as well and i paint make sure that the box that you want to draw it in is big or else it won't draw because if it's too small it will just ignore you now this i think we should break them apart because i did it in two if you do it one it's okay but now i'll go to path ob um, object to path and then i go to objects on group so that we have it on group not break apart but on group i think break now here we just go to shift control and reduce the eye a bit and this also maybe we reduce it a bit it's too big so we do something like this and then we bring this one in and then we reduce it a little more something like this works i think we are good with this i select or so maybe i just group this object group so that I bring it here I uh, can reduce it a bit it depends on what uh, you know reduce it a bit okay now you see that this is also symmetric so the only thing I will do is to select both of this and do a duplicate right click and do a duplicate and then I'll flip it horizontally as well and then I bring it somewhere here now i need to draw this my mouth now we have to do the mouth and the mouth i use ding bats so we go to ding bats and then we look for it i think i used either this or this since they are symmetric i will choose anyone but first we shouldn't forget we go for our test tool and then we need to draw something big enough that we know it can contain what we want and then we let me remove this because we don't need this we double click this and then we do append and i go for my this tool my select select and transform object tool i click it and i think i would want to just rotate it you can either rotate it by hand or use a transformation you can go to object transform or you can just rotate by hand i rotate it by hand so i go to shift control and then i move this something like this is okay and then i you put it here so this is how more or less you can use um inkscape when you want to do unicode symbols characters greek letters mathematical symbols it's so rich in many things thank you for watching please help me by subscribing to my channel and please come again thank you bye